Hey everyone, how's it going? I want to wish you guys a happy early Halloween. Um, I'm May Kunkka with Remax Elite Realty here in the San Gabriel Valley and I cover the greater Los Angeles area. Um, this week I'm going to do something um, consistent with our Halloween theme. I'm going to talk about haunted houses and real estate. So um, what are you supposed to do if you have a situation where your house is haunted? What should the agent do and what's our responsibility? And I'll go over um, a case that went through and uh, tell you a little bit about that story. So if you are listing a home as an agent um, that's haunted, um, do you have to disclose that? And this is what the case we're talking about. Um, it, there was a case decided in 1991 in New York uh, called Stambovsky versus Ackley. And uh, so what happened was uh, there was a buyer who uh, went into contract on a property. Um, halfway through the contract, they found out that the house was haunted. And then they wanted to back out of the contract and uh, they got into a lawsuit against the seller as well as the agent not disclosing to them that the house was haunted. So what it turned out was that the owner had previously, and this is the key thing, um, advertised on Reader's Digest and the local newspaper bef years before they sold the house that and said that the house was haunted, which I guess they thought was pretty cool and I guess you get to get onto the magazine and the local news, but it did end up haunting them in this transaction. Um, so they did end up losing the case to the buyer and uh, that they did not disclose this material fact. So I think um, the discussion that you know we've had and talked about before in some meetings is do you have to disclose that? Well, for agents, um, we have to disclose material facts that we know, and it really is beyond our expertise to say if a house is haunted uh, with the ghost or anything like that. We obviously do not have any knowledge or any special equipment or uh, experience as far as disclosing something like that. So unless the seller is telling us and is um, have told other people and there's something we can fall back on saying that yes uh, multiple people have been told that this house is haunted um, it could be documented um, we really don't have a, a liability a legal liability to disclose now whether or not we're going to get in trouble for that I don't know I mean it's really up to the judge to decide what what would happen so um, that's one so there are tons of homes that um, you know I've read online that the owners say that it's haunted and it's not necessarily a bad thing uh, some people there's special people out there that like homes like that so I guess if you do know or if the owner is stating that then just make sure you put it down on the disclosure um, the scary thing is depending on what state you live in the owner may or may not have to disclose to you if there was a death homicide some crazy murder um, issue going on with the property. Luckily in the state of California, we do have to disclose that um, and it is required by the agent and the owner to put that information as material fact. So that's kind of spooky depending on where you're purchasing that they don't have to disclose some of that information to you, but it's good to know. Um, funny story, I did get a call. Um, this was, I think, sometime last year from someone in the city of Monterey Park um, she called me and she said I just have a question for you and I said okay she goes um, I want to dis I want to know if I have to disclose um, if there's issues going on with my home that's supernatural and I said well what are you talking about and she said well my house is a portal to hell and um, this is a real call and I just said, well, if that's what you think and that's what you're telling people, then you need to disclose. So I just made sure I got down her phone number and that I am not going to sell that property. I probably will release, uh, I refer that out to a um, competing office or something like that and take a referral fee. But yeah, I'm not interested in 
listening something like that but um, so I just thought that was kind of fun this week to go over some haunted houses um, actual disclosures regarding what to do um, again I have read a lot of articles and we have heard that some houses are haunted but you know it's one of those things where some people believe in that stuff and some people don't so um, whether or not it's material information material fact that's really to be, uh, to be determined. So I hope you guys have a fun and safe Halloween. Post some of your uh, Halloween costumes on here. I'd love to see them. And check us out tomorrow. We'll let you know what's going on in our office. We do have a Halloween uh, costume contest and I will be dressing up so you can check it out. Um, you can find me on Instagram on Facebook, and on my website at maykunkarealtor.com. Thanks so much. Have a safe and happy Halloween.